There is a new development in the Ontario College's strike. Talks are going to resume tomorrow. It is a glimmer of hope for students who are getting close to losing their semesters. CTV's Paul Bliss joins us now live. Paul. Zoraida, the employer council, which represents the 24 colleges management, essentially called the mediator and said, let's get the two sides back together because if we can reach a deal quickly, we can have students back in the classroom next week. Students are optimistic. They gathered at Queen's Park, fearing their semester could be lost to the ongoing strike. Samantha Levesque is taking bookkeeping at Conestoga. It's a unique course, course structure, so I was supposed to write a final during the first week of the strike, and I was supposed to start a new class yesterday, so I'm already way behind. It affects my financial situation because I pay myself uh, my own money uh, for college. I don't have OSAP, I don't have anything like that, so I'm losing money. News that the two sides are going to start talking came from the Minister of Advanced Education. I have just received word that uh, the parties have agreed to go back to the table. A mediator from the Ministry of Labour has called the two sides together for Thursday. The hope is three weeks of pressure will bring movement to the dispute that's left 500,000 students out in the cold. The main issue is job security and precarious employment for college teachers who often don't find out how many hours they're going to work until the week before. It's a blemish for the government, just seven months from an election. The minister got a lukewarm reception at the demonstration. Now we have to make sure they get a settlement that gets students back in the classroom as quickly as possible. Seriously, like out of the classes, doing nothing, the sitting around, that's really bad. So wasting hopefully, time, wasting time, honestly, like it's seriously, it's, it's really bad. It's the 50th anniversary of colleges across Ontario. They don't want this to be remembered as a uh, semester or a year where they ended up losing a semester. They're optimistic, but unless some progress is made, the year could be in jeopardy. There's no word as to whether or not management has anything new in its position, but presumably there's something because it wants to talk. Students, as I say, are optimistic. Still, 120,000 of them have signed an online petition demanding tuition be returned if they lose the semester. Reporting live at Humber College Lakeshore Campus, I'm Paul Bliss. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Paul. is a glimmer of hope tonight in the ongoing college strike that's keeping half a million students out of class for the third week. For the first time since the labor stoppage began, both sides have agreed to go back to the bargaining table. Students first! Students first! That comes as welcome news to the dozens of students who gathered on the lawn at Queen's Park today. Many feel their voices have been forgotten throughout this strike. Students first! Neither party has been at the table. Both say they're in this for the best interest of students and both are willing to be at the table, but nobody's been to the table yet. Uh, it's very encouraging that tomorrow they will be back at the table negotiating and we, we demand that they have something settled in the near future so that students can get back to class. We don't want to be outside the classroom anymore and we, we don't want to be treated like pawns in this, this entire situation. The first negotiating session since the strike began is also a welcome development inside Queen's Park, where the Liberal government has so far resisted the idea of introducing back-to-work legislation. I am delighted that the two sides are back at the table. Uh, that's a very good step. It is not the final solution, though. We need, to, uh, we need to get an agreement. We need to get students back into the classroom. That's where they want to be. They've been um, caught in the middle. More than 12,000 professors and support staff walked off the job on October 15th. Job security and control over academic decisions have been two of the main sticking points in negotiations. Talks are set to resume tomorrow between the province's public colleges and its 12,000 striking faculty. But that didn't stop students from rallying outside Queen's Park today, hoping to put some pressure on the groups. The reality is they've been negotiating since July, and there hasn't been much progress uh, since then. Um, they've taken about two and a half weeks not negotiating, just posturing in the media, posturing publicly. Although students think it's a good sign, both groups are heading back to the table. They say they aren't holding their breath. This strike is nearing the three-week mark. The union's main demands seem to focus on job security as well as academic freedom. The college's bargaining team says 
They believe a settlement can be reached quickly and hope classes can resume early next week. Well, the two sides in the strike at Ontario's 24 colleges are heading back to the bargaining table. Dozens of students rallied at Queen's Park today to call for an end to the strike that has put their semester on hold. More than 12,000 college staff are on strike, including professors and instructors. They've been off the job since October 15th, leaving 500,000 students out of class. Advanced Education Minister Deb Matthews says the mediator is hopeful that they can reach a deal, which is why they're heading back to the bargaining table. You're watching Global Toronto. This is Global News at 5.30. Well, both sides in the ongoing college teacher strike are going back to the bargaining table. Students first! Students first! Some of the half million students affected by the walkout rallied at Queen's Park today. The strike now in its third week. Talks will resume tomorrow. And if a deal can be reached quickly, classes could resume by next week.